Is it possible for us to have a credible, free and fair election in Nigeria? This is what many Nigerians are asking. This is the question many Nigerians are asking. If it is possible for Nigeria to ever have, you know, a credible, free and fair election. What we saw yesterday in Kogi, Bayesha and Imu is nothing but a mirage. And that is the reaction from Nigerians. For a result that have not been released yet, um, for election that have not been, for an election that have not started, result has been released. INEC officers were kidnapped. Later on the day, the INEC came out to say, oh, they have released their staffs. And we start seeing results flying. This is why most people keep saying that whatever happened in February would continue to repeat itself in Nigeria. There was a time that someone wrote, and he says that it, take, it will take the Independent National Electoral Commission 10 years to clear the mess that they have committed in 2023. Here is another one in Imo, Bayesa and Kogi. Yesterday, the gubernatorial candidate of PDP was not found around his polling unit to even cast his vote. We saw the intimidation by the Economic and Financial Crime Commission, EFCC, at the venue of the PDP candidate's polling unit. Why were they not at the governorship candidate of APC's uh, polling unit? Why were they not in the, uh, the governorship, uh, I mean, the governor of Kogi State? Why were they not in Labour Party's uh, candidate's polling unit? Why do you know? You know, this high level of intimidation, intimidating the opposition, intimidating people to vote and all of that, doesn't make any sense. Now, I understand the reason why Dino Milae refuses to appear to cast his vote yesterday. Probably because he might have gotten an intel that they may whisk him away from that polling unit and he chose not to go there. Remember, I just said, probably. I never say that is what actually happened. But if you look at even his call when he said people should protest if the, 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 the shit, the uh, resort sheet is, is not empty, that they should protest. This is what um, the INEC has thrown Nigeria into. They have thrown Nigeria into a banana republic because it is very, very unfortunate that you are to conduct an election and your resort sheet is already having, you know, a candidate being declared a winner or um, figures are already being written on your resort sheet. It doesn't make any sense. In Bayasa, we saw the complaint where the presiding officer was complaining that only one, um, I mean, in Imo State, only one ballot paper was given to them. How? How, how are they going to do that in a polling unit? You know, all these complaints from left, right, and center. You had over six months to prepare for this particular election. You have over three months to prepare for this election after the mess you committed in February. But yet, you failed to redeem yourself again. Like Nigeria said, they have been bought over. Is it true that the Independent National Electoral Commission has been compromised and have been bought over you know, by the political actors? Are we about to witness, you know, a one-party system in Nigeria? If we are going to have a one-party system in Nigeria, then what happened going forward? How are we going to have, you know, an opposition? How are we going to have, you know, a developed state? It is good as having a military uh, government, if you are to say, let's have one party system in Nigeria. Having seen the actors and behavior of our politicians, it's good as having a military in government. That is what it means. Having an authoritarian system of government, it is what Nigeria is heading to right now. Anyway, this is my own. I'm totally sharing my own thoughts. What do you think about this? Please remember not to jump up to defend any politician or political party that you represent or belongs to, because why? They don't really care about you, only they care about yourself. So what do we do going forward? We should rise up, you know, to stop this menace by adding our voice, voice to others to check, meet these people and make sure that they do the right thing. Thank you for watching.